Yo, what's going on, everyone? Uh, well, so today I'm gonna be making my uh, Star Wars movie and shows tier list, my official tier list, ranking all my uh, favorite Star Wars TV shows and obviously the movies. So let's get right into it. So I'll just uh, tell you guys about the tier. So S tier is like the best of the best, my absolute favorite. There's probably only gonna be like three or four things in there. Uh, a tier is like just below that. So like. I still really, really like it. It's just, like, not my absolute favorite, but it's still great. B is, like, good. I really like it. It's just not, like, my favorite. C is, like, decent. So, like, I kind of like it, kind of don't like it. D is just, like, not very good. And F is just terrible. So, and obviously, haven't seen it. I haven't seen it. Uh, all right. So, we'll just start in order here. We'll go with Bad Batch first. So, the Bad Batch. Hmm, not enough. Sorry. It's not enough to your show. Uh, I'd say it's C tier. I liked it. It was a fun show. It was what, like 16 episodes or something like that. It has the Clone Wars, anim Clone Wars animation, so obviously it's like good animation. I don't, like just the story was just like, so you start off with Crosshair and the rest of the Bad Batch, and then they split up, and then like at the end it's just they're still split up. Like nothing really happens in the show. Like they're just kind of right back where they started at the end of the show. So. I think season two will be a lot better. We'll have to see. I think it's coming out this year, so we'll have to see for that. So I'm gonna say it's C tier. Book of Boba. Book of Boba. Um, I'm gonna put it in B tier. I liked it. I liked a lot of the episodes. The ending, like the last episode, was kind of lackluster. wasn't really a lot going on. It could have been a lot better. But there was some uh, like really really cool moments in that show. Like episode six is my favorite. Episode two is amazing as well. Uh, yeah, it's, I I like the show a lot. Could have been better, but uh, I think there might be a second season if you know season one made enough uh, money and stuff. So I think B a tier is fair for Book of Boba. Yeah, I think it's fair. Moving on to Star Wars: The Clone Wars, definitely S tier. I don't think anyone's gonna argue with that. Best animated show I've ever watched out of any like, not just Star Wars, like any anything I think it's great I love it my favorite season is probably season five or season seven season season seven is amazing bro the animation in that is just top tier Disney money like <laughs> they put so much money in that you could tell uh, like the lightsaber duels in that season are amazing I just love I love the Clone Wars bro it was my childhood growing up so it's as tier for me what is this what is this one I don't know what this is. I'm just gonna put it in. Haven't seen. I don't like. I don't know what that is either. Uh, episode one, Phantom Menace. Phantom Menace. It is in B tier for me. I I really like this movie, bro. Like, it gets so much unnecessary hate in my opinion. I really do like the Phantom Menace. Like, I don't understand what all the hate is about. Like, everyone was hating on the actor for Anakin, said they didn't play him right. Like, I I don't understand all the hate, bro. Same with Hayden. Like, Hayden got a lot of hate in the prequels. For what? Like, he was just playing his part. But, uh, yeah, episode one, man, it gets too much hate. Just straight up. Like, I don't know what's so bad about it. I love the ending fight with Maul, Qui-Gon, and Obi-Wan. I think it's the best lightsaber duel in all Star Wars. Or, it may have been number, number two or number one. Not sure, but, uh, yeah, I really like this movie, bro. I, I'm gonna put it in B tier. Attack of the Clones. Also going in B tier. I'm a prequels guy, bro, so I love the prequels. I think this is a B-tier movie. I don't think it gets enough love. I, get, I think it gets too much hate. I think people are starting to like like it more now since they've uh, seen the sequels, but I like this movie. I think it's a good movie. And, uh, yeah, like, the fight at the end with Dooku and uh, Yoda is pretty damn cool. Like, it was cool to see Yoda in action for the first time, for sure. Uh, there's not really anything bad except for, like, the cringy, uh, the cringy parts with Anakin and Padme. That's like the only complaint I have about this movie, to be honest with you. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna put it in B tier as well. Vent of the Sith. No questions asked. It is the best Star Wars movie. It is S tier. Well, I mean, it's not no questions asked the best, but in my opinion, it's the best. I like it the most. I think it's the most exciting movie. Has the best moments, obviously, with like. You guys know what I'm talking about, like the ending fight with Anakin and Obi-Wan. That's the best lightsaber duel of all time. Anakin and Obi-Wan. Like, just the music, the action, it's just amazing, bro. It's S tier, no question. A New Hope. A New Hope. 
is A tier in my opinion. It's some people call it boring. It's not boring. It's it's kind of slow to start off, but then it kind of picks up at the end. Um, like it's the first Star Wars movie, so you got to cut it some slack a little bit. Like it was made in 1977. I think it's a good start to uh, to the trilogy, to the ori the original trilogy. I like the movie. Um, obviously, like the fight between Vader and Obi Wan is the first lightsaber fight in Star Wars. I think they did a good enough job on this movie for it to be an A tier. So, Empire Strikes Back, I think it's an S tier as well. In front of Clone Wars, there we go. Wait, there we go. I love this movie. This is a lot of people's favorite movie. It is uh, probably my third favorite, honestly. But uh, I love the Empire Strikes Back. Great movie. Obviously, like first time we see Luke and Vader fight. Find out uh, Vader is Luke's father. That is like one of the most iconic moments in any movie of all time. So uh, it's got to go in S tier just from those two things I just stated. But I just love the movie, man. It's just so well written, so well done, and I love it, bro. So Return of the Jedi is going right up with it, bro. I like it more than Empire Strikes Back. And uh, this is like the peak of the, of the original trilogy. My favorite OT movie is... Return of the Jedi. Like, it doesn't get any better than that. The, uh, the fight at the end with Vader and Luke is, just gives me chills to this day. Like, the music just, uh oh, it just hits so hard, bro. So, it's going in S tier for sure for me. The Force Awakens. Hmm. Is it B or is it? I'm, I'm putting it in C. It's a good start to, uh, to a new trilogy. It is. You know, you got, like, the introduction of Kylo. You got the introduction of Finn before the, they destroyed his character. Rey, like... They just did the characters in the sequel so dirty, bro. Now that I think of it, but... I think The Force Awakens is a good enough movie to be a, a C-tier movie. I think it's, like, a solid 6 out of 10, so... It's going in C-tier. The Last Jedi, though... It's going straight in F-tier. I... Like, this is, like, the only movie in the world that I hate. They just take away from so much that George Lucas wanted in Star Wars like Luke is just like a hermit for some reason even though like that's not his character at all he's not a hermit he's a Jedi Jedi master now like he should not be hiding on some random planet but uh yeah The Last Jedi is just such a mess of a movie like there's no flow to it at all it's just not it bro I don't think I have to explain too much The Rise of Skywalker is better than The Last Jedi but uh, it is still F tier. I don't like how they brought Palpatine back. Vader killed him. He should not be. He should not be alive still. And uh, yeah, I just I don't like the movie at all. I'm gonna be completely completely honest with you. I think it's like yeah, just a little bit better than the Last Jedi, but it's still terrible. Mandalorian is going straight up. Wait, I said I only put like three or four things in S tier. I gotta put it in S tier, bro. I love The Mandalorian so much. It kind of brought me back to Star Wars in a way. Like, I was always a Star Wars fan. It just... The Mandalorian just re... It made me think of my childhood a lot. Kind of, like... I don't know. It's just such a good show. So well, so well written. I'm putting it in S tier. I don't think anyone's gonna argue with that in the comments, so... Is this Rebels here? Okay, Star Wars Rebels is a B tier... B tier show, for sure. If it, oh, sorry, shit. If it had the Clone Wars animation, I think it would be A tier. The only bad thing about it is the animation. It's not even that bad, but like the story of it is like a nine out of ten. Like it's such a good show. Season one starts off a little bit slow, but then season two picks up. Season three gets better. Then season four is just amazing. So I think B tier is uh, fair for Rebels. If you haven't watched Rebels, you should definitely watch it. It's a very good show. Very good show. Rogue One is an A tier movie for sure. I love Rogue One. It branches together like before A New Hope, like how Vader got the Death Death Star plans, and uh, obviously this movie. I think it's great, bro. I love Rogue One. Like it's the best movie that Disney's made for Star Wars by a long shot. No questions asked. It's a great movie, bro. It's A tier, easily. Solo. Solo, solo, solo. 
I think solo C. Yeah. I think solo C. It's not a great movie. It's not a bad movie. It's just in the middle. You know, I'd say it's like a 5 or 6 out of 10 because nothing really like crazy happens. Like, it's just, it's a Han Solo movie. Like, what do you expect to happen? I don't know what people expected with this movie. Like, it was what I expected in a Han Solo movie. It's just, it shows him how he met Chewie. Like, I don't know. It's, I think it's just a solid movie. I think it's like a, yeah, C tier. C tier is fair. And these last two shows I have not seen. I've not seen uh, Resistance or Visions. So I'm just going to put those there. What do you guys think of this list? I think it's solid. I th I'm just going to go through it real quick. So we got 5 in S tier, 2 in A, 4 in B, 3 in C, 2 in F. Am I missing anything? I think this is everything. Obviously, like, Kenobi's not out yet. I think this is everything. Yeah, I think it is. Well, guys, let me know what you think of this list in the comments down below. Let me know what you would change. Let me know what you what you like about it. And uh, make sure to drop a like on the on this video and subscribe to the channel as uh, I stream Battlefront 2 every day on this channel. So make sure to drop a like and sub. And uh, I hope to see you guys in the next uh, video or stream. Peace out, guys. Have a good uh, rest of your day.